What's up, YouTube? Saboja here. Welcome back to another reaction video. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Today we have a song by Madonna. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've heard Like a Virgin, and now I'm just realizing that there's a song that's called Like a Prayer. So is that some sort of theme? Because the album is Like a Prayer. Is the other is the other album Like a Virgin? And why uh, why is she doing that? It's, I don't know, kind of... I guess maybe a thing. Anyway, this is a VIP reaction request from Kona. So I appreciate the support Kona per usual. I appreciate it. So like a prayer, <clears throat> and I'm almost positive I've heard like, like a virgin. Maybe not all the way through or not recently, but I have heard it. So I do know what Madonna sounds like. I just have hardly heard any of them. That's probably the only song, if I'm being honest. So like I said earlier, this is from Like a Prayer, which is the fourth studio album from Madonna. And this came in came out in 1989. So, lead single, written and produced by Madonna and Patrick Leonard, the song heralded an artistic and personal approach to songwriting for Madonna, who believed that she needed to cater more to her adult audience. Okay. Passionate young girl in love with God who becomes the only male figure in her life. I could kind of see that maybe being a controversial song for some people. Like a Prayer is a pop rock song and it incorporates gospel. That is really interesting. Ooh, there's a choir. All right, this is shaping up to be really interesting. How did it do on the charts? Whoa! <laughs> now, every now and then I run to a chart like this, it's just ones down the line. I think. This is close or near the top for most number one positions, I feel like. This is insane. Oh, wow. Japan wasn't feeling it too much, but still 30. Oh, my gosh. Nine in Brazil and then uh, five in Venezuela. Everything else is one. Two in Netherlands. Oh, and a couple twos here in Europe. Holy crap. All right, let's... uh. Let's check this one out. Now, I don't know how Madonna feels about me reacting to her videos, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn up, or turn down, I should say, the big display in favor for the smaller one, and I'll just move over. All right, this should be interesting. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Subscribe down below for more videos like this, everybody. All right, let's get started. Gospel, huh? All right, let's check it out. Choir, we got some stuff going on here. Let's check it out. Burning Cross probably didn't go over very well with a lot of people at the time. Okay. No end and no beginning 
there's the choir really quickly. Oh, geez. All right. So what I'm noticing, because I haven't heard Madonna in a long time. Like I said, I heard that one other song. I don't even remember that much what it sounded like. But from what I have heard so far, so she's not taking on any like extreme pitch or um, like growl or like sighing or, you know, nothing of incredible technique or anything like that it's mainly a almost like a speaking voice as far as how she's singing but not exactly like that but that's kind of what i'm um comparing it to but it's still very sweet and she, the, i mean this chorus is insane very catchy a lot of elements that will uh Definitely get you out of your seat. I could see the popularity and the, um, like a prayer. I don't know, like, how significant the song was at the time. So, like, I can only speak on what I can take away from it now. I wasn't around when the song came out. I don't understand the significance of it like some of you guys will. So, can I only can speak on my behalf. So, that's what I've kind of got out of it so far. I am really enjoying it. Do not misinterpret what I'm saying for disliking it or an extreme criticism. You don't have to be like showcasing an immense amount of skill to create a great song. That's just not the case. It's still not the case. And I'm not even saying she doesn't possess an amount, a great amount of skill. I'm just saying that's what I've, I'm hearing so far and I am liking it. Don't get me wrong at all, please. So let's rewind a little bit and keep going. It's so catchy. It's very catchy.
It's got some funky music in there, that's for sure. Dance pop, pop rock, art pop, and gospel. The use of the choir. Oh, Silver Springs by Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, why not? Um, the use of the choir was brilliant. Brilliant. And as a matter of fact, I don't know if the song would have been the same without it. I think it really gave the song, you know, what it needed to kind of like go over the top. Pop rock song that incorporates gospel music. Yes, it does. It features background vocals from a choir and also a rock guitar. Yeah. The lyrics. Yeah, the video I don't quite understand right away. I would definitely have to check it out again. They have been interpreted by some people to have dual meanings of sexual innuendo and religion. Yeah, I mean, this is a not an easy song to uh, pick apart, that is for sure. It comes off very catchy and easy to listen to, but it's it's like a, it's like an onion, I feel like, for sure. <clears throat> All right, let me know what you guys think about this one down below. That was, uh, was this the single version of the album version? I'll have to go back and check. But anyways, I really enjoyed that. It's nice to kind of get something that you don't quite fully understand right away as a song to listen to. And this one, I don't quite understand right away. <laughs> anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thanks again, Kona, for the suggestion and the support. I appreciate all you guys so much. Hopefully you are having a great day and weekend. Have a good one until next time. Peace.